Microsoft has released Beta Access to its new AI design platform, paving the way for the future of design. So will it be taking the jobs of graphic designers? This is it. Let's go for a little run through. Take it for a test drive. The first thing you have to do is enter a headline. Black Friday sale. Then you get to add a subtitle. Spend all your monies. Finally, you have to choose an image. You can either add this on your device from your phone or use a DALI powered image generation. So you can put something in like mad human spending all their money in the style of Salvador Dali, the late great surrealist painter. Now we have three images generated. I'm going to pick this middle one. And after you select this, then you have the opportunity to adjust this however you see fit. There is also a whole library of templates to explore everything from National Donut Day to a welcome sign. My immediate opinion of this is that the layouts and designs it exports are underwhelming. They're very basic, the typography is lacking, it doesn't look like they're using a baseline grid, and the text here is just ungodly small. It's, it's completely inappropriately small for this design. It's using a strange text pairing of two sans serif fonts. Um, I'm not sure why you would not just use the same sans serif font in this example instead of using two slightly different ones. I'm slightly confused by some of the spacing elements that there's so much more space below the subtitle than above the title. It would make sense for me if you took both of these and put them centered. You can see that this is already a minor improvement. For me, this is too low. I would also increase the size of this. The margins between the elements, you can see that there is a margin on the left and at the top, but there's not a margin on the right hand side. God, I feel like a scathing movie review critic analyzing this design platform. I'm going to give you my honest, unfiltered opinion of Microsoft designer. Microsoft designer is a vomitorium of design. It spews out the most bile inducing, disgusting designs that I've ever seen absolutely hideous. If they think that this is going to replace designers or even help them, they are beyond deluded. I am disgusted and appalled by the repetitive, atrocious, simplistic pieces of absolute Microsoft has the absolute balls to present a ridiculous preview of something that does not exist and then what they're giving us is an absolute dog's dinner. It's like fresh out of a can cold horse meat. It is bad as Nicolas Cage's performance in National Treasure obviously received zero user feedback from anyone. Web designers and graphic designers can rest easy for the moment. And overall, it reminds me very much of one, the layout of Canva and the ability to choose templates from Canva. I'd have to say it is a poor man's Canva in regards to the library of templates available, the UI and the ability to actually create meaningful graphic design changes with the tools available. The initial preview available from Microsoft about Designer showed a completely different UI that was <laughs> absolutely 10 times better than what they've produced. So it's certainly, you can see there is this very flashy, well created, but they have uh, a beautiful uh, image and well selected type with a good structure of the typographic scale. And it's laid out in an interesting way. And something to look at inside of Canva is that they are introducing a version of Stable Diffusion where you can create your own images inside of Canva. So this is Microsoft trying to compete with Canva. As they can see that Canva has recently bridged 100 million users and is undoubtedly a huge success story and challenging so the status quo of the large design platforms. And you can see the images generated by Canva uh, work pretty well. And you have the ability to use the existing huge library available from Canva. Canva is obviously a more mature design software that has gone through years of product iterations and extensive corrections. Whereas Microsoft Designer is new and it's trying to find its place inside of the market. I do not see it catching on in its current version of not providing anything new or different or an improvement on any existing software. Why on earth anyone would use this over Canva remains to be seen. And if you are more of a serious designer, then you will be certainly lacking the detailed ability to make nuanced changes available in proper design software. Something about me feels a little bit, uh, uh, what should we say, snobbish to say that this is a proper design software. However, I'm still a huge fan 
and advocate for Figma as the number one design tool. However, its recent acquisition by Adobe remains to be seen if it will stay in the same guise as it has before. I remember when Unsplash was acquired by Getty Images and to slowly see the true nature of the original proposal being ebbed and eroded for it just to become a sales funnel for people to buy from Getty. And that is extremely distasteful. And my fear is the same will happen to Figma. Overall, Microsoft Designer for me is a poor man's Canva. It's failing to impress, but it does offer a glimpse of the inevitable. It's undoubtedly only a matter of time until there is a real and successful AI platform that can combine text, imagery, and graphical elements in a meaningful and coherent way. Graphic design is a different animal to image generation because it's communicating visually with a number of different effects. Combining text is proving to be an extremely different proposal for merely generating an image. So for now at least, true graphic designers, web designers can rest safe in the knowledge that their skills are not being usurped by AI quite yet and they can make the most of these new image generation tools in their workflows. I don't imagine this is the last we'll hear of Microsoft Designer, and in time it will undoubtedly evolve into something that is more useful. Let me know what you think about Microsoft Design. Of course, if you're interested in learning more about AI art, I have an entire course that'll take you through one of the best AI tools, Midjourney. We'll create art every step of the way, and by the end, you'll have a portfolio of impressive AI art. You can check that out in the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and comment. And if you want to stick around for more AI art news, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm Samson Bowles. This is Delightful Design. Have a delightful day.